Now let's move on to the criteria for selection of retainer. So what is the criteria? How do we know which retainer to be used where? Criteria. How do we know where to use which kind of retainer? So the first one is the abutment angulation. Angulation of the abutment. So these are our abutment and the angulation plays a very important role in deciding which kind of retainer we are going to use. For example, in this case, the abutments are parallel to each other. Okay, so in this case, a full veneer retainer can be planned because we can get a single path of insertion. Both the, both the retainers can be placed like so and they'll have a single path of insertion. But in cases where we have a case like this, one of the abutment is not parallel. So this is straight, but this is like this. So in this case, a partial veneer retainer can be used. So what we do, we prepare the tooth like this, like this, so that when we prepare a retainer here, and when we prepare a retainer based on the tooth we prepared here, like so, both these will be parallel to each other and we get a single path of insertion. All right. Okay. So this was criteria number one, angulation. The second criteria is the condition of the abutment. Second is the condition of the abutment. So if the abutment are in good health in terms of periodontium, or if they do not have caries and all, a partial veneer retainer can be considered. But if the abutment is endodontically treated, okay, RCT has been done, or it is not healthy, then a full veneer retainer is recommended. So when the teeth is healthy, we give partial veneer, or we prefer partial veneer. But if the teeth is not healthy, we prefer a complete veneer, okay? The third criteria is aesthetics. Aesthetics. So obviously, aesthetic is very important. So we will consider this as well. Then the fourth one is preservation of the tooth structure. Preservation. How much tooth structure we want to preserve here? So the partial veneer, these are more conservative because we are leaving one or other surface of teeth intact and we are preparing rest of the surface. So partial veneer are more conservative than full veneer. Then we have retention, how much retention we want. Based on that, we select the retainer. And the most important thing from the patient's point of view is the cost. So cost is a very important factor. For example, all ceramic retainers, these are more expensive than metal ceramic ones. So if cost is a factor, Metal ceramic restorations will be preferred than all ceramic. But otherwise, if cost is not a factor, then obviously all ceramic one is a better one. Okay, so these were the six criteria on the basis of which we select the retainers. So I hope this video was helpful. In the next video, we'll study about the type of connector. And yeah, please do share the video and help us reach more students. Thanks for watching. Bye. Love is.